most glamorous and they come from the ground, but we are head over heels for taters. It's National Potato Month, so we're looking at five things you didn't know about spuds. Hey, Mr. Potato Head! What do you got for us? First up, in 1952, Mr. Potato Head was the first toy advertised on TV. Originally, it was just a kit full of plastic parts kids would stick into a real potato. But because of complaints about rotting vegetables, in 1964, Hasbro began to supply a body. Potato head people look different every time you make them. Next up, the Potato Museum in Blackfoot, Idaho. They have the world's largest potato crisp, a Mr. Potato Head play area, and numerous exhibits on the history of this beloved vegetable. When you're done, the Potato Station Cafe will even serve you some tasty taters. All right, now that's what I call a potato. Our third potato fact, in The Martian, Matt Damon's character figures out how to grow the versatile root vegetable while stranded on Mars. They say that once you grow crops somewhere, you've officially colonized it. So, technically, I colonized Mars. In your face, Neil Armstrong. His desperation for flavor even made him come up with a new recipe for potatoes. I'm gonna dip this potato in some crushed Vicodin. And there's nobody who can stop me. Next up, potatoes are the world's third most grown food, over 800 billion pounds a year. The average American eats 112 pounds of them a year, 36% as french fries. The final thing you didn't know about potatoes, they are impactful communicators. The company Potato Parcel can send your message via a potato. They even got an investment on Shark Tank. Our company is Potato Parcel and we mail potatoes. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. That's five things you didn't know about spuds.